Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. In today's video I'll be taking a look at the deadlift progression of Hatful Julius Bjornsson, who has to be considered as the greatest deadlifter of all time in both the raw and equipped deadlift. The first half of the video looks at Hatful's progression in the raw deadlift using both the elephant bar and conventional bar. I know that some feel that the elephant bar should be considered as a different lift, but in the research that I have done, it shows that once the athletes became accustomed to the whip of the bar from 2017 onwards, their maximum lifts on both types of bar were broadly comparable. We start the journey approximately one year after Hatfora first started training in 2009. Unfortunately, there's no videos of Hatful doing a conventional deadlift in 2010 or 2011. However, he did compete in three different powerlifting meets that showed that his deadlift improved by 10% from 2009 to 2010 and by 6% from 2010 to 2011. Hatfor's deadlift progression from 2011 to 2012 is absolutely incredible with a 14.3% improvement over the prior year. Hatfor's improvement from 2012 through to 2013 were far more modest compared to the previous year, but he still managed an impressive 2.5% gain. Hatfor putting in a solid deadlift performance at the 2014 Arnold Australia for a 2.44% gain over the previous year. Unfortunately Hatfor didn't do any raw deadlifts in 2015 which brings us to the 2016 Arnold Strongman Classic and the introduction of the elephant bar. Hatfor! Julius Bjornsson! Even when faced with this completely new variation of the deadlift, Hatfor still manages an impressive 22 kilogram gain or 5.24% over his best raw deadlift of 2014. Six times, the Iceland's strongest man, Hathor Bjornsson. Throws in the bar. Ah! Ah! Yeah. 
hat for only manages a 3 kilogram or 0.67% gain over his 2016 elephant bar deadlift, it looked substantially easier and looked like he possibly had more in the tank. Shortly after the 2017 Arnold, Hatfall set out to improve his elephant bar deadlift. This would include purchasing a custom made deadlift bar to simulate the length and whip of the elephant bar. The head judge, the head is raised. It is time! It is time! Where's the electricity? All of Hatfall's hard work paid off when he pulled a new world record of 472 kilograms for a 6.06% gain, smashing the previous world record set in 2016 by Eddie Hall by 7 kilograms. This is only as a sec this second attempt. This shows that he is ready. Getting some nice landing, Viking Berserker going. Give me a break! How easy is that in a new world record 1000? At the 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic, Hatfall broke his previous world record by 2 kilograms or 0.42%. 11 months later, Hatfall would pull his biggest ever raw deadlift. Although this is an unofficial lift done out of competition, it's still Hatfall's biggest ever raw deadlift and surpasses his best done in 2019 by 6 kilograms or 1.26%. Over those 11 years, Hatfall managed to improve his raw deadlift by an incredible 60%. From 2015, Hatfall competed in the deadlift suit a total of three times. The first of these was at the 2015 Giants Live World Deadlift Championships. so badly to keep in the running. Oh, Hathor! Brilliant lift! Have that! From the 2015 Giants Live event through to the 2017 World's Strongest Man, Hatfall's equipped deadlift improved by 2.22%. Hatfall's final equipped deadlift would take place in May 2020 as part of the world's ultimate strongman feats of strength challenge. I know some people feel this shouldn't be considered an official world record because it was done outside of competition. But whatever your opinion, no one can deny that to increase a deadlift by 41 kilograms or nearly 9% in three years is an incredible achievement. That brings us to the end of today's video, but please leave a comment below letting me know your opinion on Hatfall's improved deadlift and whether you think his 501 kilo pull should be considered an official world record. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please help support the channel by clicking like, sharing the video and subscribing. Thank you.